Hello, and welcome to today's content on how hate works in War of Divisions along with Dispel's interaction on hate. For the table of contents, I'll be explaining what exactly is the stat hate and the sources of how to increase or decrease hate, as well as hate's function going into Guild War, the first and second rounds, and Dispel on how it affects hate in different circumstances and how it, it basically can change it or not at all. To start off, we'll go over the question, what exactly is hate? So hate is a stat, but unfortunately as of currently January 3rd, 2021, when it, this was recorded, its only real usage is for auto interactions, which is can be both player versus player and player versus environment. Regardless, since it only functions in auto circumstances, I'll be talking about hate in auto situations. So first off, what hate does exactly is that it manipulates the AI of both enemies and allies. When you have positive hate, you have a higher priority of being targeted by attacks and buffs. When you have negative hate, you will have a lower priority of being targeted by attacks. To get into detail, whenever you have positive hate and uh, receive damage per turn, you will lose 2 hate until you reach 0. You will not go negative otherwise. If we switch it around, whenever you have negative hate and deal damage per turn, you will gain 2 hate until you reach 0. You will not go positive unless there is an ability that increases hate or special circumstances. When at neutral hate or at zero hate, which is the same thing, your hate stat never changes unless you directly change it with an ability, a TMR, a vision card, passive, etc. It depends on the situation. To begin here, we'll be testing how hate interacts with multi-hits and why at the previous slide I said hate only changes in increments of per turn order. So here we have Mariel, she has 5 hate. We're using um, Warrior Light's Crystal Braver, it hits 3 times total. Mariel should have only lost only 2 hate making it 3 now instead. So we'll check up on her right now, and boom, she has 3. She got hit 3 times but only lost 2 hate because she only got hit in that 1 turn order. What this means is that multi hits and abilities and skills do not take out hate faster regardless and it will only drain in increments of 2 when receiving damage per turn order. In this scenario I am showing you the results of having multiple units with different positive hate values. Since AI outside of hate will target whoever they can in range for the most damage, they will still go for the most damage on the unit with the higher positive hate value. However, if the hate values are similar, they will attack the unit that takes more damage instead. So the AI is still there, but the hate does make a factor into it on their targeting factor. Alright, on to the clip. Here we have Warrior of Light with 10 hate. If we look at the stat page, 10. Now, Mariel has 5 hate meaning the AI should attack Warrior of Light and will reduce his hate by 2 after the attack hits. Boom, the wolf hits him. Now he has 8 hate. The AI should still target him because he has higher hate value than Mariel as of now. However, if we were to increase Mariel's hate higher than Warrior of Light, the AI should target her instead. So here we're just going to be waiting turns, trying to get back to Mariel. Come on, come on. Move Warrior of Light a little bit. And here, we'll use Taunting Spell which gives 12 hate more at max level. So now she should have higher hate. We will check her hate now. And boom, it is now at 13. And Warrior Lights is 6 because we just hit him with the Taunting Spell. So from here, if we have more turns to kill until the AI can attack, this means they should attack Mario instead of Warrior Light because she has higher hate values. And boom. There you see it, the wolf went for her instead of warrior light. I hope this sheds some light on the discussion of how having multiple units with hate in your party and how it is handled by the enemy AI. They will target the one that has the most hate, however if they have similar hate, they will attack the one that will take more damage in general. Since we did positive hate with multiple values, how about we try negative hate with multiple values? In this scenario, I'll be using two negative hate units to show you how AI reacts to it. The testing units will be Ramza and Glacia at negative hate. Before the clip even begins, let me just say that the first attack should hit Ramza or Glacia since the enemy cannot hit any other unit despite them having negative hate. In this instance, whoever has less negative hate should be targeted more than the other. 
Anyways, let's get the clip roll. So as we can see, Ramza has negative 6 hate. With this, we'll check up on Glacia, who has negative 8 hate. That means the wolf's movement should make it so that they should attack Ramza because they cannot reach anyone else that has neutral hate or positive hate. And boom, you see, it attacks Ramza because he had less hate and they couldn't get it to Warrior of Light. Now, Warrior of Light has 12 hate now, and the wolf has access to Ramza, Glacia, and Warrior of Light. The wolf, all the wolves will attack Warrior of Light since he has positive hate as well as him being in range. Boom, there you go, you see the wolf hitting him. If we wait a few more turns, we can test the next wolf. And boom. And it hits Warrior Light. There you go. Hope this explains a little bit on negative and positive hate values. Even if you have negative hate, does not mean that you are safe from being hit because the AI will always try to target something if possible. Moving on to the positive hate sources of increasing hate. So first off are the abilities and skills. Using any of these abilities will increase your hate. These sources of hate are removable by Dispel because you originally do not have any hate and these are just simply granting you a certain amount of hate depending on each ability. They will all give you different values depending on uh, how good their potency is. So the master ability however, which currently I believe only Muriel has as of right now, it increases hate as well. Dwayne as well is unique in that his hate gain is, also, is from his passive not his master ability like Mario. However, they re they act pretty much exactly the same in terms of Guild War usage in round one and two. I'll explain that more a little bit later. And lastly is the vision card most of us know and have used it before, Vow of Love, which increases your hate. There's no special explanation for it, that's just how it is. Since I showed the positive hate sources, here are three examples of negative hate sources. So mostly at the moment it's just skills, maybe there will be more in the future, but these are the first three that came to mind. So first is Hide, which lowers your hate by 8 when maxed. Second is Majestic Prestige, which is Rob's Limit Break, and it lowers hate as well. Lastly, but not least, is False Veil of Darkness, or Venera's TMR active ability, which lowers hate as well. So these are just current examples at the time of recording of ways to lower your hate. Maybe in the future there will be a lot more ways, but for now this is what came to mind. So in the first fight here for Guild Wars, Muriel has 5 hate because she has their master ability on. Well watch how many hits she will take here. Since Venera however is the first target in range, the enemies will attack her until they can attack Muriel in range. So at the moment, now she's in range, took 1 hit. And she attacks, attack. She should have 3 hate now, and after this hit, it should now be 1 hit. And after that, now it should be 0. This means the next hit from the enemy should go into Venera because Venera takes more damage. Boom. This means that Muriel's hate should now be 0 for the rest of Guild War. However, the thing is, the special condition for passives and master ability and hate is that they refresh when they get to the next tier in... Uh, Guild Wars, like the next round. Now onto the next clip. Nothing has been changed other than it is now round 2 of the Guild Wars with the same team, only resetting the defense so we could do it again. So here, if it did not reset, that means Muriel should have 0 hate. However, it does refresh because her hate passive, I mean master ability, is special. So there you go, they're attacking Muriel again. Right now she has 3 hate again, she's gonna get hit, now it's 1. He'll attack one more time. Yep, now it's zero. From here, they have nothing to do. It will attack Venera. Boom, attack, and boom, finished. So, what this basically means is that Dwayne and Muriel, since their hate is from their mass ability or a passive, every time it goes to a round two of Guild War, that means it will reset. This is not the same, however, as hate gained from abilities and vision cards like Vow of Love. Foul Love, once it is depleted in Guild War, it is gone for the rest of that Guild War. Round 2, one, round 1, it does not matter, it is now gone. Abilities, however, like Taunting Spell, Brave Presence, if you use them and they still have a, uh, an existing amount, in round 2, it will carry over, so it will not reset back to 0. That is the, also the good thing about abilities if you still have remaining hate. I hope this makes sense in how valuable hate on like master abilities and passives can be for like more, I guess, serious Guild War PvPers. 
it's just very valuable to have. So the spell is unique in that it is considered a condition. Like Halloween Leela's Limit Break, this means that the spell potion will land no matter what, even if it misses, without a fail condition. It just happens. If you're conv confused on what a condition is, a previous video I made kinda explains conditions in detail, so you should go check that out if possible. Anyways, the spell has a very interesting reaction when used, in that it removes all buffs, but not specifically barriers, because barriers are considered conditions. Um, the spell also does not remove status ailments, except for specifically haste only. Which is kind of weird, if it works for haste, it should work for all status ailments, it does not. It only works for haste in that aspect. Along with this, the spell can and cannot remove hate. It depends where the hate source is coming from. If the hate stat was from an ability, it will be removed. So like taunting spell, brave presence, it will be removed, the hate is gone. If the hate was from a vision card, passive, or master ability, however, it will not remove it. So here will be two clips of how this spell will be used. The first one is Warrior Light using his Brave Presence, but it will be removed by Halloween Leela's Limit Break. We can see this because the hate will be at zero after the Limit Break because it has been removed. So as we see here, we select Warrior Light, boom, and it'll say all remove buff. Because Brave Presence is a buff, the hate will be removed. So now he's at zero. In the second clip, however, Warrior Light has 12 hate from using Brave Presence, and Mar Mariel has her master ability, and Dwayne has his passive on. So from here, Warrior Light has 12 hate. Go to Mariel. She has 5 hate. Go to Dwayne. He should have 5 hate. So from here, we will cast Mediana's Dispel to show the interaction on what exactly happens here. And we'll cast it. We'll wait here. And boom. I'll remove buff. So from here, Dwayne has 5 hate because he has it on his passive. Mariel has 5 hate because it's on her master ability. Warrior Light here, 0 hate because it has been removed. So I know I didn't show Vow of Love, but in this scenario, it works the same as Mariel's Master Ability and Dwayne's Passive, and that the spell does not affect it. I did test this, I just did not show it in a clip. I hope this makes sense in how this spell works on different sources of hate, or like, why is my hate, like, why did it not go away for the enemy when I dispelled it, what is happening? That means they had a different source of hate that was not removed. So if you haven't been already confused on how hate works, this is like a little fun trivia on how hate works when it goes negative and when it gets dispelled. Theoretically speaking, it is almost impossible for a dispel to land on a negative hate unit unless it's landed by an AoE dispel, which does not happen very often, but it can, but the chance of it is very low. So to start the video, we'll be using Glacia. She has zero hate initially, and we'll be using hide to make it go to negative seven. Unfortunately, my hide was not max level as of the recording, so it's only negative seven and not negative eight. I apologize for that. However, it it'll still come out as the same exact result. So here we see hate was uh, hide was used, and the hate is negative seven. So from here, we hit warrior light, turn into negative five. And there's a reason for this on why we did it. I'll explain later. So now she's at negative 5 hate because she hit Warrior of Light. And we will cast this spell. With this, it should remove her negative hate because of hide being a buff. Boom, dispel. So now you're probably all thinking, oh, it's probably at 0 hate now, right? No, it is at 2 hate. And there's a very good reason for this, which I will explain right now. So you're probably all surprised why this actually happened. Is at the beginning, Glacia's total hate was zero. After using hide, it was at negative seven. However, Glacia's base hate increased by two because her total hate, which was negative seven at the time, uh, went down to negative five. The buff itself, hide, did not change. It's still negative seven. However, Glacia's base hate increased by two because her uh, her hate is negative like the overall. So when um, this spell is used, it removes hide. Not the actual like total hate number, it removes hide, which was negative seven. Meaning 
Glacia's base of 2 hate because she attacked Word of Light earlier when she was um, negative hate. This is why she is at 2 hate here. The end result is 2. Um, if I attacked Glacia, I mean, if I use Glacia to attack Word of Light again to make the hate go to negative 3 before dispelling, her hate would actually be at 4 now because that's her base hate, not the total. So this is like, in most circumstances, will never actually ever be seen in auto PvP, but it's really cool to see exactly how hate works uh, with negative hate. And we arrived to the end of the video. If there are any requests for like a unit or mechanic to look into, and I'm free to look into it, or it's something that I think people should know, leave in the comments and I'll see if there's something I can look into it for it. Additionally, if you like my content, please leave like a like or a comment or subscribe and thanks again for watching and peace out.